Hi, I'm Timothy Tracy, the Vice Principal of Washington Park School. I helped oversee our November STEAM Day at both Washington Park and Memorial School. Many of the students took part in a variety of activities. These activities took place in their classroom. Students worked in teams on a variety of projects that ranged from building a Macy's Day balloon to launching a paper straw rocket. All students took part in this activity throughout the entire day. They learned many different techniques, and just as scientists do, they learned from their mistakes and tried and rebuilt some of their projects to make it as perfect as they possibly could. So our fourth grade class made paper rockets and they're launching them using straws. All right, ready guys, go. Oh no! Oh, this is that one over here. What we were doing today is we had a STEAM project where the children were provided a bunch of different materials, um, rocket, examples, they saw videos beforehand, and then what they were given was two hours to construct a rocket, given a straw as the engine, which would put the rocket into the air. They were given tape, they were given markers, crayons. Three, two, one, woohoo! And they had to measure to see how far their rocket would go and just be creative as much as they wanted to. Some had made larger rockets and realized in the classroom that they weren't going to work. So then they had to go back to the drawing board and reconstruct a smaller rocket. Hello, Mrs. Olja here, fifth grade science teacher. What you see behind me are fifth graders who are working on a STEAM project today. They are creating catapults. They had um, a few class periods to sketch write steps and create their models and now we're here testing them out to see which catapult um, performs the best. Uh, this is one of the winners today. Uh, students were given <clears throat> popsicle sticks, rubber bands and uh, bottle caps, whatever else, whatever else they could find in the classroom. Uh, in this case they used tape, um, popsicle sticks, rubber bands, some paper cups that they cut and um, plastic uh, spoons. So they were free to do whatever they wanted and create their catapults with their groups. We made a square um, formation at the bottom because it wouldn't stand up and we're not allowed to tape the straws to the ground. So we made a square formation and we put slits into the squares so that we could build up and we just kept on taping it and we had to stop at a certain length because it was starting to fall over. Yeah. Our original idea was to make a pyramid but that didn't really work out so we started making kind of like a raft and after we did that we we built kind of we built walls then a support on the middle like a like a roof after we put the roof on, we kept on adding up. It took us about an hour, maybe like an hour and 15 minutes. So the more weight you put on it, the more, e like the easier it is to fall down. Because the more like weight you put on it, the um, heavier it gets um, like at the top, and it kind of like um, has the bottom holding up more weight than it could hold, um, and then it'll fall down. So we have made a foundation because we knew that if we didn't make one, it would really fall down and we wouldn't be able to win. And we made this because of this steam competition because um, we thought that if we went for rectangles and tried to salvage our tape, it would work out more. It is kind of some like kind of a rocket. A rocket? rocket ship because we wanted to at least get it above here but we didn't kind of reach that. And that's a satellite dish what we're putting that, on now. That used to, well, that, it, it, up, but we're gonna put it, it has down. fallen down like three times and um, oh this was one of the problems right yeah. here because before we, we put this this would just keep wobbling and then fall down but then I put this here and bent like stick them together and then bent them tilted so then they would like be like kind of supports. It was originally supposed to be a skyscraper that we brought out that it was supposed to be big then it's supposed to be medium then it stopped started to like get like smaller every single time and it started to work out but then it just kept falling so we changed to um, 
this. I'm pretty sure, it, it, I think it's a skyscraper, but not as hard as it was, because before it was like, we used too much of the straws and we ran out of our tape because of how much we used, because it kept falling, so we changed to this, a smaller skyscraper. Today is STEAM Day, and in reading class, we are doing bouncing robots that defies gravity. The materials you need are pennies, paper, crayons, and tape, and it uh, bounces like that. Today we were building boats out of wrapping paper to see how many, and putting them in water to see how many bricks we could put inside them. I've learned that the one that won was wider, but it wasn't as like protected on the walls. While another one that had 97 was more protected around the walls, but not as big as it, but as other as the other one. Today on Steam Day, we competed versus other teams when made tin foil boats. We competed against each other using a, aluminum foil boats, and we tested to see how uh, how sturdy the boat would be. Today we used these little cubes to see how sturdy our boats were in the water in a matter of time. <laughs>